What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Can you do me a huge favor? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because you know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Hey, look, y'all. Your boy, Matt Piscatella, he slid through real quick, real sly-like with these MPDs. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't expect this the day of the game, the game awards. You know what I'm saying? That sly devil him. But no, big ups to Matt Piscatella. Hey, yo, Matt, if you catch what it is, unblock me on Twitter, man. I don't know what I did, but <laughs> unblock me on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with him. Hey, you know. We're going to keep asking him to do that. We're going to keep running that campaign until, until he does, man. But big up to the homie, Matt Piscatella. But with that said, all right, y'all. So here goes the nitty gritty of the November NPDs. And for those of you that live under a rock, the NPDs are used to gauge video game sales dollar-wise in the continental United... Well, no, in the United States, period. You know what I'm saying? So let's break down these numbers. Okay. So first and foremost, year over year, when you compare November 2018 to this year, November 2019, sales overall are down 19%. All right. And they round out to around 2.3 billion. I, I don't think exactly. And, and it breaks down like this. Hardware is at 400 million. Software is at 900 million. Accessories at another 900 million. So around the 2.3 billion mark. But that's a three-year low, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's a three-year low. So... It's not just comparing it to 2018 where there's some underperformance, but even comparing it to three three Novembers ago, it's not it's it's not it's not the best year. You know what I'm saying? But it's the end of a generation, so you know who knows, right? All right, so let's get into our top games. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, number one best-selling game in the United States. That's not a big surprise, but more notable, it's the best-selling game year to date, just for a little bit of time that it's been out. So that's crazy. Those is crazy numbers. All right, here's a little bit more of a surprise thing here, y'all. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is the number two game overall for November 2019. And here go some notable facts about that. It's the second highest launch month for a Star Wars game, dollar-wise. Second only to Star Wars Battlefront in 2015. It is the highest respawn launch title dollar-wise. And just for being out this month in November, it already becomes the number nine best-selling game of the year for MPD. And it does so, take note of this, y'all. It does so despite being available on a subscription service day and date, which is PC. You know, so if you got Origins, Access, Premiere, or however it's called, you got Jedi Fallen Order, day and date through that subscription service. It's a notable fact. Keep, keep keep that in the back of your minds because it relates to something I'm going to talk about later in this video. Okay, so next are the Pokemon games. And they take up slots 3, 4, and 5, okay? Um, in, in this order, I believe, uh, Pokemon Sword is number 3. Shield, I mean, Double Shield, um, the Double Shield pack is 4. And Pokemon Shield is five, I believe. I, I hope I didn't butcher that. But with that being said, the, the Pokemon games take slot three, four, and five. Now, if you were to combine all three of those, if those were all just one school, just so you're aware, that would have been the second highest selling game for November MPD. Just, just, a, just, just some food for thought there. You know what I'm saying? How big the Pokemon games had done this month. All right. Um, and just another notable thing here is that Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, y'all. Nintendo's just killing it this year, all right? And there's, go, and there's some more news in regards to that uh, as we get deeper into this video. But Nintendo's killing it. And Super Smash Brothers Ultimate becomes uh, the highest lifetime dollar-wise of any fighter in U.S. history. And that's just based off of physical sales alone because you know MPD is not able to capture Nintendo digital sales. So just off the physical sales, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate this month or, or for November becomes the best selling fighter dollar wise ever. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty now. The official top 20 of November 2019 MPD. Number one, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Okay, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is number two. Number three, like I said, Pokemon Sword. Number four, po Pokemon Shield Double Pack. Number five, Pokemon Shield. Number six, Madden. Number seven, D 
Death Stranding? Whoa, we'll talk about that a little bit. Number eight, NBA 2K20. Number nine, Need for Speed Heat. And number 10 is Luigi's Mansion 3. I know I said top 20, but I, I, really for this video, the top 10, I, I think is the, the main relevant point here. So those are the top 10 games from the top 20 list for November MPD 2019. Here goes the best selling games here to date. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, NBA 2K20, uh, Madden 20, Borderlands 3, Mortal Kombat 11, Kingdom Hearts 3 still rocking and shocking it as far as sales for January up until November of 2019. The Division 2, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, like we said earlier, Star Wars Je uh, Jedi Fallen Order, and number 10, Anthem. Yes, Anthem is, is number 10, it's still on the list, it's been on the top 10 best selling list for 2019 every month since release. Yes, you probably didn't even realize that. Here are some honorable mentions as far as your boy MM2K is concerned. Number one, Ghost Week on Breakpoint, despite the hate and despite all the bad criticism, it's still in the top 20, baby. Next thing to note, Nintendo has seven titles in the top 20. After that, I think it's important to note. EA is having a hell of a year domestically, despite EA being the most hated company in the world, right? Think about this. They got three games in the top 10 year to date. And even though it's one of the most lauded games this year, Anthem, like I just said, is, is still in the top 10. And this is despite, think about this, let this hit home. For all of the console warrior fair boys and the people that hate the subscription services, let this sink in. This is despite their games being in a subscription service. Perfect. So for those that say automatically subscription services heavily cannibalize sales, the facts show otherwise. It all depends on the title, it all depends on the game, baby. All right, so we need to kill that noise. Also, Tom Clancy, The Division 2 is actually number 10 when you do a rolling calendar year. So when you factor in some of the big hitters from last year, the Call of Duties from last year, when you go back from last November, this one, yo, it's 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 still it's still number ten. I, I think that's impressive. And the last little tasty tidbit that I want to hit on, Death Stranding is not even number two on the PlayStation Four console along with debuting at number seven in its launch month. Wow. And I say that to say this. For all of you that had stuff to say about Gears 5, even though Gears 5 ain't my favorite game, I, I give the game credit because from what I played of it, it looks like it's real quality. That, and I'm just basing it off for the campaign. But for those of y'all that said that Gears of War 5 is a flop and that it's toilet water and all that, all those appealing things, Take this into consideration. Gears 5 also launched at number seven last MPD, but that's while launching in a subscription service for only a dollar. So let that sink in. And Death Stranding, though so polarizing and though not being that popular for a Kojima game, it's still up for game of the year. <laughs> Jeff Kigley show the same night that I'm premiering this. You know what I'm saying? So let that all sink in. And, uh, and you know what? Before I go, I don't want to hear no trash because I've seen it on Twitter already. I don't want to hear no trash. Well, that's expected because it's a new IP. Then explain Horizon Zero Dawn, baby. <laughs> you can't. So with that being said, very interesting news. From the homie Matt Piscatella, as always, just slid in real quick right before the Game Awards. But you know what? Those are my thoughts, but you know the deal. Who cares what I think? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you did like what I had to say, follow me per the links below. Check me out with the Broadband Bullies new website. Check us out, PNTS Network. We're running that raffle. The link should be below, should be below as well. And check me out on a Hard Knock Digital Culture. New content is coming soon. With that said, Hey, y'all enjoy the Game Awards today because I'll be checking it out too with Next Gen 720 on this channel. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.